What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z-Man here to bring you the next part of The Walking Dead. The last part was kind of a full episode. Um, we had conversation with our friend Stranger over here, the dude with the uh, station wagon that we stole from. During our fight, Clem got a hold of his gun and took care of business, if you know what I mean. So this is going to be the last episode. Um, I know we're very close to the end here, so just head through the door and we'll be able to get out of here. Finally. Put this whole damn thing behind... Oh, shit. They can't see you if you don't move. I think there's a dinosaur like that or something. What are you doing, dude? I still have a meat cleaver, right? It... it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Must have... You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. By being gross. There's my meat cleaver. Missed you, buddy. We sliced through so many heads together in the last ten minutes. Huh? Well, now, I haven't oh, seen... No. Yeah. Sorry, Clem. <laughs> now, I haven't seen many episodes of The Walking Dead, but... Um, the episode where they get out of that tower by covering themselves in muck. I saw that one. So this is a direct reference, I guess, to that episode, kind of. It's just an intestine, probably full of other people's food. Do zombies have to, like, shit and stuff? That'd be an interesting case study. It's only small intestines, Clem. I haven't even gotten to the large intestines yet. Uh, how you doing? We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Yeah, about right. Pretends it's sparkles. A little more. I want to be sure. Uh, Just a little more. So gross. Yeah, yeah, kind of is. Uh, are you okay, dude? No? No answer? Okay, I'm just going to keep using your intestines. That's okay with you. This guy doesn't even look like he got bit that bad. He must have gotten away from an eating. At least that's something. I hope so. You look good. Very fashionable. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Oh, the hat. Yeah. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. I have a meat cleaver. I took the meat cleaver with me, didn't I? I did not take the walkie-talkie. That's not a good thing. Ha! Huh, I'll have to look for that in episode. I mean, in, in season two, if Clem has the walkie-talkie. There's only a few of them, and that one is. Re am I blurring? Am I blurring out? Yeah. Well, Lee just about looks like a zombie, so I guess it all works out. Just carefully walk through the zombie field. No, I'm not a person. You, Yeah, you keep walking. It's okay. Please, nobody see me. Well, at least they can't see. We know that much. They smell and they hear. Hey, nice mullet. Have a, have a, no, have a nice day, dude. Sorry. Did not mean to bump into you. Apologize when we get back to Alabama together. Uh, you, you can, you can pass, sir. You have the right of way. Yes, it's okay. I don't want to hug you, Trish. What do you... There you go. Fuck. 
So, using context clues, you can safely assume that those were Clementine's parents. Obviously, we've known from the beginning that they were dead. We, I mean, how do you tell Clem that they're dead? Please, and even if we did, she up. denied it. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Not yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Yeah, I know. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Sorry, Clem. Kind of knew that. We have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. No. That door open. I can't. Do it. No, 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 no. Look at my eyes. They're all yellow. I'm almost a zombie. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Uh... Four, three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> I'm not in any shape to be pulling any doors open. Just saying. gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, clear. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. All right, we need to find a way out of here. Of this jewelry store. I I think there might be a way out over there. Past that zombie. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. A little slow? God, I can barely walk over. Wow, this place got looted too. Holy... And the looters weren't very thorough. It's a lot of gems. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'll be fine, I'm Clem. Okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. Oh, they would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. <sighs> Face with your own death. And the only thing you can think about is getting Clementine out safe. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm moving, Clem. I'm definitely not moving, Clem. You have to! Clem, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! Alright, one more time, I guess. I know I won't be able to get up, but... Uh, no. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. All right. Um, I thought it'd be a really good design choice to have us play as Clem during this part, kind of. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Foreshadow the uh, second season. Transfer the transfer the player over to Clem just in time for the second season. 
Um, uh, what do we do next? We need to bash open the door. The bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. But I mean, it's just as poetic to have. Good job. Lee give Clem his final advice. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. Right. Um, you need to grab that store. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. I guess I never did check to see that the door was locked in the first place. It's locked, by the way, in case you didn't tell. Alright, open the door. Open it. Now the fun part. He's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Alright. The handcuff. On the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Now, I already know what I want to do here. So you have the choice to handcuff Lee to the furnace or handcuff the guard so that he can't grab you. I'm going to choose to handcuff the guard. You have to handcuff the walker. You can kill it easy, then. I don't know, Lee. You can do it. Just be careful. Move around the side and jump away if he gets close. Lee. You can do it. A lot of people probably... Actually, I did on my first try, too. I uh, chose to handcuff Lee to the furnace so that... There you go. You get the gun. Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Oh, god damn it, zombie. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with- I did not know he pulls- Get him! Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Get that display stand on him. There you go! That hit me. <sighs> there you go, Clem. Use that. Oh, nice swing. Your dad took you out for T-ball, didn't he? Chop that wood. One more. There you go. Always double tap. Probably get the gun and shoot him too. I did it. I got him. Good job, Clem. Great, Clem. Good job. All right, now do that thing where you get the gun. Yep. And the keys. It's only one last thing to do. And it is. Terrible to ask this of a little girl. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You're gonna see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Played through this game five times. It still gets to me. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah. She needs to shoot me. Terrible thing to ask. You have to shoot. No. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, that 
was standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Domeed and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. God, Good. she's being so strong. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... Oh, yeah, I was telling you something. Don't, don't worry. All right. It's only one thing you can't say here. Oh, it's you. Me too. Five, at least five playthroughs that I can think of. Still, still, it gets to me. It's unbelievable. Telltale knows how to tell a story. Um, I've played the first episode of The Wolf Among Us. I've also played the first episode of season two of The Walking Dead. These guys do know how to tell a story makes sense that they're getting all of these uh, third, not third party, uh, licensed deals to make games, uh, Border Tales of the Borderlands, and oh, what was the other one they just got? Game of Thrones. 71% of people removed the arm. 74% lost temper. Gave up weapons. Oh yeah, I kept my weapon. 57% of people didn't kill the stranger. Um, I chose not to kill the stranger. I know I noticed that I was going on that path. But uh, I thought it was better... It's better for the story if Clementine does it. Because, you know how in Tomb Raider, when like all the devs always talk about how it's about Laura trying to learn how to survive, and that first kill is huge for her, killing that deer. It's the same thing here. Stop Lee from turning, 63%. Yeah, most people did that too. So here is the list of all the people that we met along our journey. What happened to them. Kenny died to the herd trying to save Ben. Not died, lost. Sorry, lost. Most of these all say died if they were seen died. Uh... Katja shot herself. Larry died in the meat locker. Lily left her on the side of the road. And Omid is uh, back to the train. Ben fell to his death. Carly killed by Lily. Krista is still with Omid at the trains. Duck. Or uh, first, you gotta talk about Oh, his name. That guy. It's the only thing I got, unfortunately. Well, I can't I remember his name. I don't know. Duck died. She died. He was the first one that died, the first choice that we had. So, 
that was the first season of The Walking Dead, of course. There was a reason I had to play this game. I mean, you, you watched the story, you went through it, you heard my reactions to the story. I'm sure you guys had your own reactions. If you haven't played this game already, give it a playthrough, and then go and play Season 2 as well. Um, I have a feeling Season 2 is going to be great. In Season 2, you do take over as Clem, like I said, and I'm just completely impressed with what Telltale managed to do here. I knew before that they had taken care of, uh, they did the Sam and Max series for like a season or two of the Sam and Max series in, the same, in a similar vein to the way they did this one where it was five episodes released at different times. I think it was just one season of Sam and Max. And they also did a uh, five, epi five episode. They did an episodic uh, Back to the Future story too that I haven't played. I've seen gameplay of it. Um, it's very similar to this game, but this game just... This game won tons of Game of the Year awards. And while it might be light on the gameplay, the story, the characters, the, the little bits of action that you do get are all very good. Um, the story is incredible. The characters are incredible, I mean... No video game has ever made me feel that strongly about protecting someone like they did there with Clementine. And as a result, we've definitely seen a small little push push towards uh, having young femin feminine characters that you're supposed to protect in video games that uh, turn out to be very strong characters on their own. Uh, the Last of Us with Ellie, Bioshock Infinite with Eliz Elizabeth, yeah, I hope that's what her name is because I've not played Bioshock Infinite. I just got it for free on PlayStation Plus, so I'm going to be playing through it. Uh, that has been one that I've wanted to play through, I just haven't gotten the opportunity to do it. I have played through Last of Us, an extremely good game. But, out of all of them, this story here is just a little bit better. It's where you have Ellie that's a teenager. She can definitely take care of herself. She's very helpful to you. Uh, Elizabeth, always helpful. Whenever you start doing stuff, uh, she'll, like, throw you guns and ammo and all that stuff. Clementine, you had to kind of take from the beginning and teach her how to survive. And it just makes it that much better. So guys, that was The Walking Dead. Um, I'll probably go through 400 days and season two eventually. But that's gonna be it for me. So thanks for watching. Have fun with this final cutscene. I'll see you guys next time.